Hi, in this video I'm going to discuss whether retail traders can actually use artificial intelligence. Now, first things first, which artificial intelligence is available to us? Well, there's a lot of so-called artificial intelligence which needs a lot of uh, input still from the trader themselves, so they need to decide on what which parameters they want to use etc etc so it's not really doing the full works for them it's um, it's effectively just a, a, a back testing type tools uh, that are available and it'll show you the best fit and then you can adjust and adjust until you get something which uh, effectively is curve fitting to a degree aside of that there are companies out there suggesting they've got uh, AI systems but most of them, if they were broker provided, they'd still be down to the user. Because why is a broker actually going to give you something that's going to take a lot of money from them unless they can hedge that position straight away? So it's it's probably not going to happen. There are things like Chat GPT, which is artificial intelligence, which is available to us. There's Bing, has a ver Microsoft Bing, has there's a version. But basically these are chat GPTs, as it says it's chat, it will talk to you. So once you sign up to this, what you get, and this is the, the one that uh, is, is on the top of the list almost. Now you can um, attempt and use different versions of chat GPT. All I'm going to show you here is the free version. So effectively it's uh, you can upgrade, it's $20 a month if you want to upgrade. In fact, before I actually show you this, if I can go back, there we go. So some limitations to take into account um, what we're going to do. It's not going to give you live data feed. Look, it's uh, limited to knowledge of the world and events after 2021. So um, uh, or it has limited knowledge. Um, it's I mean, it, it may generate incorrect information. That's for sure, uh, etc. Now, it can be used, but what you're not going to be finding out is a strategy that's going to be working and it's going to continuously be monitored by the system, etc. This is a open uh, software that's available to it for us all to use. However, that's the downside. The upside, if you have got strategies and you are trying to program them, etc., and you've got no idea, well, this might be uh, a blessing in disguise. A lot of our traders use TradingView, which uses Pine Scripts. And to be fair, I haven't got barely any idea. I've got a slight idea, I guess, but I, I can't program it in real terms. If I was starting from scratch, I wouldn't have a clue. All I can really do is a little bit of adjustment here, a tweak there. So I'll show you how it could be used. Now, um, first things first, I, I'll click onto this little old question here. AI explains so just so you get some sort of idea. Now it's going to come up in a second. Here we go. Um, artificial, uh, artificial intelligence refers to the development of computer systems that perform tasks that would typically require human intelligence. Well, as I said, a lot of systems that are out there at the moment still require human intelligence. Now it's a broad field of study, encompasses various approaches and techniques aimed at uh, simulating or replicating human intelligence at machines. Now this, for sure, most things don't do at the moment. Now what you've got is effectively very fancy search engines and some that can talk to you and understand what you're asking. So there is an element of understanding and this, this is probably the nearest you'll get available to us at this stage. Now, I'm willing to be corrected on that. If there's something I'm missing out there, uh, do uh, tell me and I'll investigate. So that's artificial intelligence. I cl the, the obvious question, what is the best strategy to trade Forex with? I just thought I'd throw that in there. And of course, it came back, the uh, trend following, uh, it's just down my road, um, breaking breakout strategies again down my street. Uh, range trading, yep, when the markets go rangy, quite happy with that. Carry trading, most people can't do that because it's really, uh, most brokers are um, stitch, stitching everyone up on the on the swaps, so effectively you get charged either way. Uh, and news trading, news trading is much more difficult than it used to be uh, because brokers will not um, 
they'll they'll lag the data effectively because they can't risk it. It's too much risk. So an important thing here to note that successful trading involves more than just choosing a strategy, risk management, etc. It's good. It's got you know, this is this was just all generated from that one question. So there we go. That was just a, just a question. Um, let, let's get on and show you what it can do. So I could ask it to make me a strategy. Um, so let's do that. Actually, I'm going to be specific here. Give me a pine script. If I put the E on there, it'll be a lot better. Strategy. I can't even get there quick enough here. Um, actually, let's make it give me a simple. There we go. So I've actually asked the machine to deliver me a strategy. There we go. Okay. So what it's done is it's literally, you've seen how quickly it works. Now, this is the free version. The, the um, paid for version is even quicker, I believe. But it, it might slow down at certain times of the day, etc., when lots of people are using it. But so what it's given me is a moving average crossover. It's uh, it's a strategy. It, it, it isn't going to be um, massively successful. I've just asked for a simple pine script strategy, though. And that's what I've got at the moment is a simple pine script strategy. So it's moving average uh, crossovers. And it's telling me at the bottom here what it is. Now, very, very simple. Um, you, you, I mean, it tells you what you can adjust, fast length, slow length. So again, it's, it's using human intelligence or suggesting you use human intelligence alongside what is just built. So what you can do with this is you can copy this code, go to um, your uh, uh, trading view, and then click on Pine Editor. Now, I've been... Um, messing around with this so I've got the pine edit editor ready to go with now I've got a, 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 a four alley study on there at the moment so I'm just gonna delete that now I'm gonna all I'm do is gonna cut and paste the strategy I was just being given and then pop add to chart now what it's doing at the bottom what it did at the bottom there you can see it's compiling and here's the here's the strategy now it's on the US dollar yen. So there's lots of things, as it said, you can change over. It's actually better using the strategy tester to test it here. One thing I would say is take the strategy and test it somewhere else. I wouldn't necessarily use this altogether. It will give us an idea, but you'll need to uh, do it something what more, um, a better version. Anyway, this is okay for guidance. It's suggesting a slight loss actually. Is, is there anything? Oh, there you go. It's a four cent, <laughs> um, for a point four, sorry, point oh four uh, percent um, uh, win on this rate here. You can see what's wrong with it. And moving average strategies, it, I, I don't really, you don't really need to see something like this. They don't generally work for any sort of time. I can change the time frames of this as well, and you can see whether it's going to be any better, slightly better, by moving to a daily um, moving averages. So switching it to daily form. Um, let's have a look on the weekly. Uh, daily, daily is it, no weekly is even better, and probably monthly is it going to be better still? No. So it well it works okay on weekly, uh, but 1.25 percent uh, over 65 trades. That's not setting the the world alight. You, again, you can look at different currencies to see if there's a currency that works better. Um, actually, what was that? Oh. Yeah, it's sort of getting closer on the uh, on the dollar yen, for example. It's it, it, look at the percent profitable as well. But anyway, um, you can see how it can be looked at, and then you can adjust and see which currency is just at a click of a button here, which which would be worth viewing further. Some of them you just sort of leave, and you think, well, no, that's not that's not not even worth looking at again. But you could shortlist. But again, it's the human side of things at that stage. Coming back then to uh, um, 
ChatGPT, and I mean, let's, let's look at some more questions here. Let's put in uh, something a little bit more. Um, I'm just thinking of a strategy. Okay. So let's see if we can get it to give me a breakout strategy. Actually, let's be a bit more specific this time. And ask it to give me a profitable <laughs> breakout strategy. There we go. In plain script. So you've got it all the time. Ask the questions. Okay. So there are limitations to the, this. It looks great, and it is great uh, in in the, for a lot of the world, um, but. When it does this coding at the moment, it's it's doing it in version four. Now I can specifically ask it to do version five, but then it will um, often make errors. It will still use version four uh, coding, which you need to then put back into this. But what I've done and to explain, I've started a discussion here. So my first part of the discussion is to ask for a, a profitable breakout strategy in PineScript. So it's given me this. So let's see if this works. Let's copy the code go over to here, go to back to the editor. I'm going to scrap all this uh, stuff that was already there. So I'm just going to overwrite it for a moment. Actually put a new version in and add it to the chart. Now I'm just watching down there. Oh, it's, it's gone straight in there. Um, profitable? Oof, I don't know. <laughs> um, there, there's, there's, it's, it's not massively profitable. Again, it's it's got this sort of 45% sort of um, win rate, but there's, there's not enough in it to make money from this. So maybe it doesn't understand profitable enough. It did give me a code that went straight in there, which was good, but sometimes you might um, want to adjust the code and, and give it some more criteria. Um, it's, it's obviously got specific things in here in terms of when you're gonna take profit. It's listed it at the bottom here, the strategy is a look back period to identify highs and lows. Over a period, the strategy enters long position and close price above the previous breakout level. Okay, so it could be just one um, uh, high that is breaking above as opposed to two or three, so it might not have the same uh, bang for your buck. So you could um, ask for more details. Let's try it. So please adjust giving a breakout only when it breaks above or below three previous points. Let's try that and see what happens. go so you can see the technology it's it's sort of there how good it is well again we'll have to wait and see if that this works any difference um, so just go from the top down there <laughs> certainly we've adjusted the breakout strategy so effectively you're talking to someone here you get answers now it may be that you want just some simple things done this is perfect for it um, it could be that you, you've got an idea of strategy, can't write it, want to test it or whatever, and this is an, an alternative way of um, doing it and uh, program it into uh, TradingView. Let's copy that and see if it works. Now, as I said, I have had many occasion where it doesn't work, but I'm quite pleased with myself today. Just overload that, add it to the chart. There you go. Ah too much arguments <laughs> I know what that sounds like um, okay so I'm not going to go back but well you can there's just um, too much arguments not very good English on this is it um, I'm just going to copy oops I'll come here there we go copy that and ask it to adjust it. I 
let's just adjust this. We'll get it to adjust a bit at a time. So it's um, <laughs> it's even apologised. So let's see if this works. It probably ends up back to the code we started with. Now what I'm doing here is getting one bit adjusted at a time, otherwise I think it might uh, overcomplicate things. No, it's still it's still coming up with the same. So I've 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 stalled it at this stage, and it may be that I'm asking for something that's just too much. Um, looking at breakouts, high high two, high three. So it's it's it's, it's putting them in, but uh, it it may be just too much for trading view uh, to actually handle. I did try and look for four hourly pivots, which uh, are time sensitive. In other words, I can adjust them uh, from midnight. Um, and it, it like just like the people I've offered to pay to do it, they can't do it. For, so I, I want it to run from zero to four, four to eight, etc. Um, and it can't do that. So um, it, it may be that I've asked something that uh, can't be done. So I, I, you can play back with it. The important thing, though, uh, just answering the question, then can retail traders use AI? Yes, and we can get things that work for us but basically it can produce things that we know we want basically it's not thinking for us in, in any way beyond uh, code writing code for us which is great uh, but we've still got to put the uh, limit uh, the uh, question the right questions in there to produce this code so it's a great tool uh, don't get me wrong but it's not the the AI some people might expect it is AI though, it is, it is thinking, it is discussing and chatting with us, but not in the way we might want it. So there you go, quick answer, hope you find that useful, you've got to play, have a play with it, it's free. <laughs> um, I'll put the link below the video so you can get, get find it easy, but um, it is very simple and if you're using in, uh, TradingView you should be able to run through here. Any questions just fire away and I'll uh, come back to you. Wow, that's a nice messy one. It must be in the moving average crossover. Right. Okay, that's it for me. Take care. Oh, should say, if you like the video, put a thumbs up if you want more like this. Also, make comments below. It gives me an idea of exactly what you're looking for. Take care. Bye for now.